This video will show you one possible method for solving drawing 1-3, the base plate. Now, if we take a look at our drawing, we see a lot of different dimensions. All of the dimensions are located around the drawing in red. And then we also notice some green lines with some dashes. Those green lines are center lines, which will help us center our drawing and center different components in our drawing. The red ones, of course, we're going to use to help us figure out what to actually draw the measurements to. In previous drawings, we've started in the top left-hand corner and drawn from there. Sometimes it's better to draw an overall box around our object and then we know that everything we draw goes inside of that box. So the first thing I'm going to do is locate the overall width and height of our object. So we are at 8.50 inches and 5 inches over here. So let's start a new drawing using the TD template. I'm going to draw a box 8.5 inches by, jump back over here, 5 inches in height, 8.5. Now to close this box, I could draw a line straight up at my 5 inches. I could use the O snap command and just snap to that line. Or I could also push C on my keyboard, which stands for close, and press the Enter key. And that will attach my next point to the very first point that I started. That's another shortcut you can use to close some type of an object that you're creating. So I have my overall box around my object and I need to come back and start finding certain parts that I'm going to draw within that box. Now because I drew those lines to 8.5 inches by 5 inches, I know that everything I draw has to go inside of that box. If I have a line extending out beyond that box, something's wrong. I'm going to start with this center square and we know it's a square because it says that it is three square and that means that it's three inches square. I have four equal quadrants and I have my center lines going through that square. So that tells me that from this line to this line is three inches and since it's a square from my top to my bottom is also three inches. Now that also tells me if I just go halfway then it's half of three inches which is one and a half inches. So I'm going to jump over to my drawing and I need to locate that center line. Now depending on your object snap settings, your line might not snap to where you want it to. So I want to snap to the middle of this line, but it's only letting me snap to either end. Well, We can go in and change some of those settings to tell the computer uh, different things that we want it to snap to. So if I come down here to my object, snap settings. I'm going to right click and select object snap settings and this gives us some different options for different things that we can snap to. Now I typically always have on endpoint. I turn on midpoint because sometimes we need to find the middle of a line like in this case I have center on, I have quadrant on, I have intersection on, 
and I also have perpendicular turned on. Uh, I use these particular settings about 99% of the time. So now that I've set all of these to what I want, I'm going to click OK. And I can come in here with my line, and you can see it's now snapping to the center of my line. So I'm going to draw a line across my drawing and break that up into quadrants much like my center lines, these green lines, are showing. Now I can come back and draw this square because I know it's one and a half inches off of that center line. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to touch the center point and without clicking I'm just going to drag to the left and type 1.5 enter so that will start my line 1.5 inches away from that center we'll go 1.5 up 3 inches over 3 inches down 3 inches over C enter to close it so now that we have our center square made we can take a look at these other boxes. Now we know that the boxes are one inch away from our square that we just made. So I'm going to put a couple of those lines in first. To do this I'm just going to offset one inch the sides of my square and then I can take a look and see that the distance between each line on the box is 0.75. So now I'm going to offset 0.75. Come back to my drawing. And I can see that my box is two inches tall and over here we have a similar measurement which is one inch from that center mark so I'm going to offset one inch I'm going to offset this center line okay now it's getting a little bit confusing so I'm going to come in here and trim press enter to select everything. I'm going to trim off some of these lines that I don't need. And there's my first one there. Let's trim back some of these. There we go. And we still have our center lines in. Press escape to exit out of that command. Let me get rid of these uh, lines here to make it a little clearer. So I have my center boxes. Now I need to come back and figure out these angles. Well, I need to find some points of reference to start these angles. If I zoom in down here, I know that 2.25 inches I have this point right here and I'm going to be angled up at a 30 degree angle. So I'm going to come in here 2.25 and I need to come up at a 30 degree angle. Now if I look at my angle measurements and I compare it to the original drawing, I know I have to go up to the left. But as I go up to the left, my measurements are a hundred and some odd angles and I'm not quite sure. 30 degrees is over here to the right. But I need it over here to the left. So I need to figure this out. 
I went ahead and drew our uh, coordinate uh, degree angle uh, little diagram that I had used previously. Now we want to make a line upwards to the left going up this way at 30 degrees. Well if we make a line 2.25 if we make a line straight to the left that's going to be 180 degrees. If we look at our drawing and we make a line straight to the left that would be 180 degrees. But we want that 30 degrees up from 180 degrees. So let's jump back here to our drawing. If we're at 180 degrees, we need to go 30 degrees this way, which means we would have to subtract 30 degrees from 180, which would give us 150 degrees. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky, not too bad, just one extra step. I'm going to start my line, 2.25. I'm going to pull it in the direction that I want to go. I'm going to pull it quite a bit farther than the outline of my part. Now right now, when we type in measurements, it's going to automatically put those measurements in um, right here and that is our length measurement. However, we want to specify a degree measurement which is this box right up here. If we push tab on the keyboard then it will toggle between our length measurement and our degree measurement. So I'm going to push tab and I'm going to type in 150 and I'm going to push tab again to jump back to our angle measurement and that, that we had I typed in three inches at and you can see that it locked that 150 degrees in and since I had typed in three it had locked that measurement in also. If I press enter on the keyboard it's going to draw that line three inches at 150 degrees which would be 30 degrees up from 180. So to do that one more time I'm going to start my line pull it to the right 2.25 I'm going to pull it in the direction that I want to go and I'm just pulling it longer than my object because I can always trim that off. I'm going to push tab to jump to my degrees. Type in 150 and hit enter and I have my line which I can come back and trim off. And Then I don't need these little corners so I can trim those off also. And that gets us that angle. Now we need to do the same thing for these others, but we have to keep in mind, uh, like this measurement over here, straight to the right would be zero, and we need to go 30 degrees from that zero, which that one would just be 30 degrees. That is 2.25 inches as our starting point. So let's do that one. We'll come back 2.25. I'm going to come down longer than my part. Tab 30 degrees. Enter. Trim. Trim off what we don't want. And then I'm just going to continue for the remainder of these lines. Trim off what I don't want.
And I'm going to delete these center lines and get rid of my little diagram there. Okay. And let's double check. All right, so it looks like we have everything. Get rid of these lines that I drew. And it looks like we have everything on our drawing. So this one can be saved as your last name. In my case, Olson 1-3. And we are ready to move on.